Hello everyone, I am back with another video. I'm creating a little tiny booklet because I found this jelly print that I had uh, left and um, I thought I'm going to cut it up and create myself a little inspirational booklet. Uh, it's going to be a small one, it's going to be 10 by 5 so the page will be f uh, squares f um, of uh, 5 by 5 centimeters and um, well I didn't know what I was going to do or which way I was going to fold the little booklet. So you see me cut the papers to size and then I thought I would just do the cover by using um, this leftover uh, prints and then just uh, create a cover, a front and a back cover uh, from the squares, five by five, and then decorate them with the leftover uh, jelly print that I got. So I started folding them um, one page at a time, but then I thought the inside is going to be white and I didn't want to uh, the pages to be white. So I glued them together. So I got uh, less pages to work with, but um, they are covered with the jelly print on both sides. And I thought that looks prettier. So I glue all the pages together and I think I've got four um, four of these pages or four of these little tiny um how do you call them uh i knew the word but i don't know them it anymore so now you see what i'm doing so just folding uh, or gluing them together and then fold them um and then that's done and then i decided i would do a full cover so with the spine and uh, you see i've got three or four um, inserts, I think that's why I call them, to go in, or oh, I can't find the word again. So, but I didn't have any jelly print left, so creating the cover by um, making another jelly print. Didn't know how exactly how I made it, but I used yellow and or uh, pink to create orange, so I thought I'm just going to do that and use this very nice pattern. You see that I put the stencil down and then I fill in the stencil with my paint. And it looks quite nice, I think. So now I'm going to go over it and you see it is a lovely print. And then I had to do a second layer and that layer is with the circles. So I'm doing the small circles first with the purple and then use a larger stencil to go over that again as you can see and then I do a second print on that piece of paper that I did et voila cover is ready that's uh, how easy it is and then finally I'm going to create one print and I'm going to use that for another project but it's a shame to um, wipe the paint off because you get a nice print of them most of the time you see i left the uh, left the residue on on the jelly plate working with that later i like those little crusts that you get of paint and different um patterns on your paper so that's why i leave them on don't mind now cutting my cover to size so i need uh 11 centimeters by um i'm i think i'm doing six i think um, I'm measuring because my uh, cutting machine is not doing uh, a great job on cutting straight. So, so that's why I do it like this and just measure it again and then uh, cut whenever I need to. And then I'm done. So now I need to create the spine. So I fold it at uh, five centimeters from each side of that cover. Of course doing a, um, an inside or a gluing two pieces on top of each other of course. So I have uh, a jelly print on both sides. Now measuring it as I said five centimeters from each end of the paper and then score it. So you got a one centimeter spine in the middle. And then folding it and then I'm almost done with creating the spine. It's it's way easy. It's it's quite easy to do, but it's it's a nice project. Now, uh, putting the papers in, and then I was thinking on what to do next. 
So I folded the booklet and then I thought I need to find an easy way to bind them together and I went on a workshop with a design team member from our journey, Willie, and uh, um, she taught me, well, a great way to bind a book. It's very easy. I just use embroidery thread and you go around the pages. You don't see me do it, uh, as you can see, but just um, start with the spine fold in your booklet um, and then just circle your thread around it each and every time but now I thought I need to stamp so I had to cut the thread again <laughs> and then uh, because it it's easier to stamp like this of course it is easier to stamp like this so um, starting out with uh, beautiful stamps from our journeys all our journey today I don't have many other stamps by the way but uh, anyhow I don't need them because these are pretty this is the new sheet crows where I used the um, flowers from the blossom and this crow and I'm just stamping on one side of the spread uh, because on the other side I wanted to um, put the quotes uh, in a glue the quotes um, so you get an image and a quote on each page. Now uh, using the bricks from the crows as well. And um, what I'm using and um, the stack of stones. I'm going to use that one as well. So I use a lot from that, um, that uh, sheet, the crows and I used a butterfly as you can see that's a smaller version of the big one that I used um, a few videos earlier with um, the mosaic butterfly so I thought that would fit as well while I was doing it I, I wasn't thinking about which phrases to use or which quotes to use I thought of them myself well the, the, they are a kind of standard but um, I didn't uh, s um, how do you call that find them in magazines or something I just uh, wrote them down and printed them out on regular paper you see that I am marking um, with my uh, pit pen because I uh, just made a mistake and um, uh, how do you call that I had a black line on one of the pages so I had to doodle a little bit to cover that up so coloring the edges of course and then I'm going in you can see that I fold the page um, wrap the, uh, the thread around it then put another page in wrap it uh, on the inside of that one as well and until you're done and then just um, bind them on the back of the spine oh you know if you want a shorter version I will find a link somewhere it's an easy binding to do don't have any holes or nothing so now this is the um, the booklet and then I'm going to stamp uh, a little bit more you see that I cut out some phrases here and I'm going to use them and they kinda like match with the pictures that I stamped so here is a fly like a bird and just gluing it down I could have skipped this but oh well it's not easy to uh, edit this <laughs> so going to the next page and do the same and do the same I, I, I did skip a lot but uh, you get the drift so you know what I'm doing I'm going to show you the book now because that's way more interesting than uh, watching me glue words down now I wanted to do a nice thing on the cover so I started with me and I like me or something big large bold letters but uh, that covered up most of the the front I didn't like that so I'm using a smaller me because the booklet was for me and then on the back I am stamping I am original or something like that matches um, the meaning of the book just some inspirational things for me to read or for other people to read of course 
sorry that I'm out of frame, but uh, you get the drift. So didn't stamp, stamp that well. Should have done that while the book was not um, uh, didn't do the binding yet. But hey, sometimes it goes like that. Now I uh, got my marker out and I just went around the words to make them stand out more. Looks prettier. Didn't do a black line, no. <laughs> but I thought it didn't need any more. This is just enough for this, this tiny little fun project and I can take it with me if I need to, but I'm just gonna leave it on my desk to look at it. <laughs> That's what I do with all my things. Just look at it from time to time. Now, I hope you liked it. I'm just going to show you how it looks. And then I'm almost done. So I thank you for watching again and again and again. And I say bye-bye until next time.